yes. Uh, Antonio, I'm a financial advisor uh, focused specifically on the medical professionals. And so I have an opportunity to, to meet with um, a couple of deans of the university, as well yeah. as um, some resident uh, uh, directors of hospitals to talk to their, uh, actually of schools, uh, to talk to their students. Okay. And so I wanted to get an idea of sort of approach them because the, a successful outcome in meeting with them would allow me to either meet with students or email, send an email to students. To, so to they're, they're, the, they're the channel to your audience, which is the students you want to talk to. Correct. Okay. And so, um, so you know, my approach with, you know, how I would you know, talk to them, I say, you know, do you, you know, how I got their initial input is like, look, you know, um, we help uh, you know medical students avoid you know the mountain of debt that they're carrying once they graduate from medical school, and right. you know we open the talk with you more if you think this is a problem for them. Uh, right. And so it resonated, and so now you know I have an opportunity to talk. And so my question is, when I sit down with them more, rather than going into you know presentation and demo mode, right. I want to go more down the iceberg, like you were saying in today's session. Right. It's like you know what's so I just wanted if you could you know give me a few crumbs to crawl on. That sure. would help me uh, in that for that meeting. So you're meeting with the principal as a next step yes. for them to feel comfortable, get to know you, so they can trust you enough to allow you to be in front of the students. Is that right? That's correct. Gotcha. Okay. So when's the meeting? Uh, it's actually not until a month from now, exactly. Okay. Okay. No problem. So what you want to do in that case is what I would do is when you sit down with them. Uh, and you meet with them or meet with gentlemen or, or, or the woman, whoever it might be, is I would first obviously mention who you are and describe yourself, but I, I would attempt on your own to describe their situation mm -hmm. and their okay. challenge, right? These students have come to your university or school. They want to become doctors. They want to be nurses. And, and my, my, my understanding, that's the key word. My understanding is that they've taken a lot of debt and, and loans on to get here and they'll be burdened with that in their career. And um, I was curious if you felt like that was an issue, to what extent that's an issue for them to, to address early on versus later on when it's too late. Because right. uh, I have some ideas that might help with that. Does that kind of describe the situation yes. of your students, would you say? So you want them to validate the problem. Right. See, right. they have to, he has to own the problem first. Okay as opposed to you assume it's the problem, even mm -hmm. though you know it's the problem, then say the solution. See, if they don't own the problem first, mm -hmm. then they won't want to bring in the solution for it. It's like a therapist and a patient. If okay. the patient doesn't own the problem, like it's a horrible patient to work with because they, they, won't, they won't work with you. So first have them acknowledge or describe that's the challenge. Okay. Then what I might recommend for you is that you work on creating a roadmap, okay. a visual tool, Okay. Uh, that you can you can laminate and roll into a tube and okay. carry the like you know like like an architect has a blueprint and there's yes. the tube. Bring the tube with you to the office okay. and to the meeting. Okay. And, and by the way, I want you to come to the meeting with nothing else in your hands but that tube. Got no it. bag, no PowerPoint, okay. no laptop. Okay. Hands free. Like okay. Because <laughs> when you walk in hands free, they say to themselves, "Wow, well, where's the stuff? Is they going to sell me something?" Uh. So what, just for all of you, if you do face-to-face -face meetings with people for the first time, walk in with nothing in your hands. Got it. Because that makes disarms them, makes them feel comfortable yeah. with you right away. So right. in your case, I would bring in a tube with this, this thing in it called a roadmap, which I teach my clients about. And okay. in that roadmap, what I want you to do is I want you to lay out four or five kind of bubbles or stages with arrows from left to right that describes what your process is to solve their problem. Okay. Just the overall process, like it might be stage one, uh, assessment of their situation. Stage two okay. might be analyze the situation. Stage three might be, you know, do a plan. Stage four might be monitor in progress. You know, just kind of basically four stages, you know? Mm -hmm. okay. And then I want you to lay it out into a nice graphic and then walk in there and roll it out in front of him or her and say, if I may, I always ask permission. Okay. If I may, may I walk you through what my process is for how I help students like yours solve this issue? May, may I show you that? Okay. Okay. See how you're always asking permission? 
Yes, yes. It's amazing how people in sales don't ask permission. They just keep talking. They make assumptions. Right. And that's where you lose the trust right there. By them stepping into the empty space, they're owning the process. Then you lay open the whole thing up and you and you watch his head kind of go up and over like that. It's kind of fun to right. watch this. And then you walk them through from left to right where your process is. And you say this, you say, what are your thoughts on the process? Mm. And then you're the buying into it. So I'll stop there. Uh, great to see you again. Uh, and love the fact you're coming back. See you soon. Love it. Thanks, Ari.